Well, we got into the cold breaker here, and I'm just going to move the camera around here a little bit. And watching for stuff that's going to fall on me. Somebody's testing out the stairs. Sounds like I hear a motor scooter or something. Uh, it's just... I think they're, they're kids. Well, anybody that wants to say hello on the tape? There's a, there's a tape? Yeah, say hello on there. Say hello on there. Get myself on there too. And I'm on here too, so hello, hello, hello. And Lawrence is up top uh, checking out uh, whether it's safe for us. He's our uh, sacrificial person. But, uh, this is just like random shooting until we get up here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, made it up to this level here. And uh, I thought I saw something move under there. But uh, we're going to try to get up a little higher here. And. Uh, not much floor left in some of these areas, but I think this is the way Lawrence went up. I think he went up here, and this seems pretty sturdy. Yeah, these seem much sturdier. My famous last words. I see heavy concrete up here. Just watch your step because there's like no railing once you get up here. Okay, here's looking down. And the walkway is here. And I'm going to try to walk over to the other side. And uh, just catch the camera if I fling it. I think I better have two hands available here, so we'll put this. Oh, I'm up another level. Came up these steps right here. But this in front of me, if you look underneath, pieces of it are hanging, so I don't want to take a chance on walking and try to make it up to the next levels here. Yeah, everything still looks pretty good here. It's a little chilly. And uh Come back over here and I gotta catch up to the rest of the group here. So let me head back on down here I think. Okay, we're just looking down at a bunch of the conveyors or whatnot. And uh everybody's taking some good shots and I'm going to uh pan around here and look around outside and then I'll move out of the way. But there's another building out there right outside the windows where there's pretty much no glass left whatsoever in any of the windows but uh, then we got some panels here old switches let's press one and see what happens zoom something fire into life here we got more stuff on the wall and I gotta watch where I'm walking and see where the rest of those guys went. Push trees coming up through here. And we gotta watch our step where we walk so we don't fall through. And uh, I don't know, oh they went up there, okay. Okay, ventured up another level. You have to watch where we're walking here because a lot of debris on the ground, the holes in the floor. 
some places where there isn't any floor over there and you got your rusted out holes that you don't want to be falling through and be impaled on something it wouldn't be too much fun now there's a gizm over there it still has a couple of dials on it but it's sitting out on the girder so we can't get to it and there's a good shot of all the girders that you can see through there a nice sunny day with the sun coming in it would make for some good shots i think but alas no sun today no sun today no soup for you okay now we're going to go up here nope. i guess i shouldn't grab hold of that because that one looks a little not too good so uh that's true. Well, I think I need both hands here, so let's uh, do this. I'm going to turn this guy off. Okay, here. Found a little thing here with something. Nothing in it. It's just some old wires. But we got some knobs here, and the knobs still do turn, as you can see here. But they don't do anything. And uh, some other kind of dial thing up here. Looks like a clock or a timer or something. Oh, we got a plate here. Let's see what that says. Uh, it's pretty well worn out. Not, not a lot of light there, so can't really read it. Oh, well. But this one's the inside of it here. Oh, it's a brown electronic continuous balance unit. And uh, that's what it is. All right. Something in there, but gotta watch what I'm doing where I'm standing. And uh, here, coming up here, and here's looking down, so I don't wanna get too far down there or drop my camera down there, because then it'll be part of the history of the Huber Breaker. And by the way, today is January the 8th. 2012 and uh, looks like somebody shooting off in the distance no bullets have come through here yet so I think we're pretty safe okay yeah we're up pretty high we're up uh, higher than that other adjacent section of the building and we found a set of stairs that goes up by the elevator shaft which is right there and there's the stairs and we're still going to keep climbing up and up and up. And you can look out front here. And like I said, this is right smack dab in the center of town. There's uh, houses over there. Hopefully they're nestled in by their fireplaces watching a football game or something. So, uh, or whatever people watch up here. Hockey or uh, some other kind of sports or something. I don't know, but just going to do a quick pan this is all handheld here of course as usual and uh, now we're going to head back up to the top keep going and uh, Lawrence is here taking a few photos he's checking out things here and uh, so far our trip has been very safe <laughs> nothing has fallen apart we haven't lost anybody yet okay well we've made it to the top and it's quite open up here we could hear pigeons up here so we're up here with the birdies uh, they can fly but we can't so uh, and we're just going to do a little pan around and then we're going to go look at some individual things oh yeah there's another platform there that doesn't really go up any higher and this is how high we are. We're looking into the sun here, so the sun's trying to come out. Let's see if I can get in the shade from the sunlight hitting my lens. There we go. And you can see out there, there's a town down there. Another building over there. That's the top of the elevator. And now let's go look at some of these massive gears here and everything here they are this is the top of the conveyor if you look way down there way way down there i'm going to try to zoom in way down there you can see that's the bottom of that big chute that comes up 
and uh, well, I'm trying to hold the camera here. There we go. It's hard to hold. So all the way up here, and this is the uh, the gears that operated all that. So come over here to see them. I'm going to put my hand on it so you can see the size of the teeth of these gears here. So they're pretty big. Pretty big indeed. But all he had to do was keep that uh, rubber belt moving, I guess, with the weight on it from the coal. And uh, got some other things. Looks like some, uh, I don't know if these are rotors from like a generator or uh, electric motor. I don't know what you call these parts here. But uh, somebody all inside here. I don't know what this is. If these are magnets, these are magnetized or uh, not. But somebody did some spray painting. It looks fairly recent. They put like yellow and blue on there. So uh, this doesn't look in bad shape here, to tell you the truth. It looks in pretty decent shape right there. So I'm going to come over here. Got another little motor for, I think this is another pulley for another elevator shaft here, something to pull something up. And uh, a little breezy up here. There's a cabinet over here, I doubt if there's anything in it. Here's another one of these uh, big uh, rotors or whatever. This one doesn't look in good shape. Uh, this is like an electrical switch box or something in here with all kind of switches and can't really see any names or plates on it so all right got to get the other camera out now we're down here with that shaft we came down a little further and as we're looking down there it goes all the way down and it's a big slanty building and there's actually a, a catwalk to go down I think uh, one of our other souls is down there. I don't think he's going to go down all the way, but you never know. So, uh, but that's what it was. And I think the other one up at St. St. Nick's had a walkway too, but that building looked pretty old to be walking on that. It looks like it's wood and covered in uh, all kinds of stuff. And the roller goes down and the top part the rollers all work their way back down to the bottom and these don't actually look look like they were uh, uh, like rubber coated it looks like they were like little scoopy things that came up like paddles and uh, maybe that's how they brought it up I don't know but uh, we're here I'm going to turn around a little bit and uh, came down these steps here. They're cut in wooden going up there. Would you like to? These steps here are wooden, so I have to hold on as they're going back up. But uh, as we swing around here, there's the rest of it. I'm going to take my camera and hold it down there. Oh, there's a rag or something down there so you can see down the bottom. I'm going to hold it out there, I'm trying to hold it steady as I can. But then we're going to look back up to the top here. Get us right up there. Okay. Well, we're at the bottom of the building. Came out that door there. And this is where we were in all the way up here. All the way, 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 way up there. We had climbed all the way up to the very top of that building. And here's. The other parts is all the broken glass and everything. And there's, of course, a debris field down at the bottom. There were just tons of old junk and stuff and that was thrown out of the building. Okay, we got another, we're in another building here. And there's a lot of gauges here, switches with labels on them. It's still and that one, yeah, it does turn. You turn it. Some of these here. All right, full steam. Let's crank it up. Let's crank it up here. Come on, let's go. 
Make it up here. All right. A lot of gauges and dials here. Okay. Tent meter. Oh, we got the big switch here. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is the big one. I'm going to put the whole thing in operation here. Okay. Take that one off. Take this one off. And we're all set then here. Come back behind here. And there's all your stuff in the back there. All the switches and dials and whatnot here. A lot of asbestos, so we're trying to be careful where we walk without having to use the respirators because they're a pain in the butt. Yeah, the mold. Let's see what we got here. How close we can come in. General electric, yeah. Current relay. I don't see a date on there. That's cool. It, even, it says Huber Breaker. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good thing for the and title. Then, and then this one says South Wilkes Bar. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was in too close. 13.8 kilovolts. Well, oh, well, it's a red brick building. And there's a walkway going over. Well, it's not really a walkway, just some contraption with the paddles up here that used to bring coal in here or whatever and we're going to try to get in that building but not from this end here i think uh, at least i'm not that's for sure and back inside here we came up these steps here and more stuff like at the other coal breakers we have a couple hardy soles up on the roof and uh they're up there, but uh, there are some cracked sections under here, so you have to watch where they walk. You can see them. There's up there, Lawrence up there, and uh, Latifa or something like that. So, anyway, I forget. And this big thing here looks like a submarine over there. It's like a kind of dark. Some people have gotten over there and spray painted, so hardy souls there, I guess. Well, we're in this next building as we come out here. This is the big uh, shaft way that goes up to the main coal breaker up there that we were in earlier. If I come over to the center, we got a part of the window in the way. So we were all through there, went up to the very top uh, we were in the red brick building way off in the distance. This building here looked like it didn't have much inside of it, so we didn't really climb up in there. But now we're at the top of this other building, and pretty much the same thing inside. Looks like some boilers and whatnot. Big uh, reel of wire over there. And we got another uh, little conveyor thing that would uh, come up here. And uh, there's one of our urban explorers there going down to check it out and see what's what with it there. So, all right, there's another big, big wheel with it. Okay. Well, this building here, as we come up here, we're actually in the bottom of the shaft here. And as we come up here, one of our fellow explorers is there. I'm going to try to come over. And I'm in. And there it is, way up at the top, up there. Get my balance here. There you go. We were up there looking down. Now we're down here looking up. And the scene is, is uh, worth it here. It makes us happy. We can see both sides here. Okay. Well, it's 10 after 4, so we're pretty much done. We're going to go see if we can uh, get something to eat, maybe get a couple cups of coffee or something warm. And here's some of the other folks here. 
and we're going to video them a little bit as they're going out. And I'm going to go up here and our fabulous group is coming out. We've all had a hard day, took pictures of ourselves, so we're all happy campers then. So uh, we're not going to crawl underneath the fence this time, we're going to walk down to the end. At least that's the plan. Plans can always change en route. You never know here. So, oh, you dropped something. You dropped part of your that's tripod. True. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Good thing I was walking back there. Okay. All right. Okay, we're walking out now. It's going to be getting dark here soon. So, we're heading out here. Heading out. No good souvenirs here. Large debris field. I'm trying to videotape while I'm walking, so I have to be careful where I walk. We're down on ground level, so I shouldn't be falling through any holes in the ground. At least I don't think so here. So, all right. Coming up here. Say goodbye to the Huber Breaker. It's about ten after four in the afternoon. I'm walking out. Here it is. Okay. Back in the woods here now. Walking through the woods. We're walking. Walking through the woods. Okay. <laughs>